Hi guys, Rhonda with Adam H here with you. I have just a quick little video that I wanted to share. Um, in my Facebook group, Stitching Fabrics, Papers and More, we're doing what we call an M&M &M journal swap. And I came up with that just as just kind of a fluke. An M&M &M meaning some type of a mini that you use the letters M to come up with a theme. Um, anyway, my uh, amazing swap partner is Marsha Lehman, and she sent me this just adorable little journal, and she titled hers Mending Mini. So it's about mending, about stitching, and I just, I just love it. So I want to show you, and she also sent this adorable really pretty lace fabric that's just oh my goodness I will get wonderful use out of that so let me just quickly show you this sweet little journal and we had parameters for them basically it had to be the uh, quarter size when it was closed of a regular eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and we had so many pages to put in it and and few things that we wanted to include. So she's got these adorable little scissors and blessed, these little charms on here. And then this seam binding that she has created the closure. And she's got these eyelets in here. And this is really fun. She stitched, this is fabric and it looks, it feels like it's like a heavy pelon um, that you use in sewing and I actually have this pattern I have this Marcia <laughs> so this is wonderful I love it so little pocket anyway that's a, a personal note I will absolutely read that some stitching here mend verb repair something that is broken or damaged from Middle English shortening of amend And this is a very beautiful, I love the papers that she's used here. Just sweet little collages. I just, and just even to the small little details. Small little details mean so much. What a sweet little additive. It doesn't have to be a huge anything to be, I, I'm just, I'm going to take from her book. And incorporate some of these things because I love what she did and I love I love the simpleness and yet it's amazing at the same time got these sweet tags and journaling spots and they're nice and sturdy too love those and then you have more journaling paper here and these S and H green stamps. Oh my gosh, this is fabulous! Some old ephemera, some printed music, music paper. Love that. A sweet little collage here, topped with a little floral flower, and some sharp, some needles. This looks. It looks like a vintage. It absolutely does. Vintage holder, needle holder here. And another verb for mend is to improve in manners or morals, reform. He was advised to mend his ways. I just love the cleverness of how she played on this with the theme. And this is braille paper. And oh, what a sweet thing. I have brown braille paper and Marcia has this white braille paper. And then a sweet little stamp here with a spool. And then mending, and it's she's got a heart, red heart that's been broken and is mended. Men to improve or strengthen by negotiation or conciliation, such as a relationship. He spent the weekend mending political fences. And then that this was just something I I have some small little calendars, and I thought, oh, this. Thank you, Marcia. I'm going to steal your idea, hun and add some of these to some of my works as well. I hope you don't mind. 
and she stitched fabric and added some little gems on here. There's a pretty little butterfly. And then she's taken and made another little journaling booklet from a spool of, uh, of lace, the bottom of a spool of lace, which I thought was very sweet. And what a clever idea. I made this cute little notebook out of that. And then, and then, she said, look at this, guys. Isn't that just yummy? All these needle, I, I used to, I didn't have, but my mom used to have, not this exact, but she had some of these. And that when I would go to get a needle, she would like go and get, you know, tell me where to go. And I knew that it was the needle pack or whatever they're called, needle holder. And so I, I love the vintage. I just love it. I love it. And she even found some stationery that's got an old sewing machine. And here's a stamp of a sewing machine and that she's collaged on here with these. I love the calendar pages. That's just, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, that is what page. Okay. <laughs> it's just the texture as I'm feeling this. This says like this is a napkin attached to a page, gives it that extra, just fun texture. What's broken can be mended. What's hurt can be healed. No matter how dark it gets, the sun's gonna rise again. Meredith Gray, Gray's Anatomy. Another journaling spot. Some more of that braille paper with a sweet little fabric button that's been stamped on and that she's sewn a button on there. More of that vintage music paper. Mend, to put into good shape or working order again. Patch up, repair, mend the robes. I love the way, um, Marcia, you have gone through the whole book and you've put different definitions for the word mend and added them to it. the, the theme. I'm just like, it's just so clever, I love it. Another journaling page. In Japan, broken objects are often repaired with gold. The flaw is seen as a unique piece of the object's history, which adds to its beauty. I didn't know that. I found that really interesting. And a little DMC for a thread, the bottom, the very bottom of a thread. And she has stitched throughout and added paper and fabric and just, <sighs> Yummy. And then here's that little stamp again, little cut out. Mend your speech a little, lest you may mar your fortunes. Lest you may mar your fortunes. William Shakespeare. Love this. Oh, and this is a stamp. Oh, you know what? I've seen those advertised. This is the first time I've seen it used. Very nice. It's those of us who have been broken that become experts at mending. Steve Marable. Boy, isn't that the truth. Oh, I love it. Love it. And then there's the back. I just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Marsha. I adore it. And um, it was just something sweet. And I was started to take pictures, and it was just like one picture just doesn't do it. So I just need to make a little video on it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye now.